okay so this experiment is to display the contents of the flag register so flag register is a 16 bit register uh, it contains the status of the result or and tells the status of every flag after the operation is performed so here uh, in the data segment first i am declaring uh, i'm creating a string with the name message and this string is just the name of all the flags so Uh, the lsb we have in the lsb we have carry flag then uh, don't care then parity flag uh, then don't care then auxiliary flag don't care zero flag don't care sign flag draft flag interrupt flag direction flag overflow flag and uh, the other bits are don't care so uh, this is how we have 16 bits so today we uh, in this experiment we will uh, display the content of the flag registers Uh, one more string, uh, new one is created, which is empty for now. And this is a variable flag. D W means it's a six, it can take 16 bit data. And uh, right now we have not assigned any value to this variable, so uh, we have put a question mark. Now in the code segment, first thing we need to initialize the data segment, as we have done already uh, uh, into the previous experiments also. Now I am displaying this. message now in the previous experiment we have written a macro to print it and then we were calling that macro to print the string here we have not created any macro we are directly uh, calling uh, directly printing this now to print a string uh, we are we will be using and the 21h uh, interrupt and to print a string ah should have value 0 9 and uh, offset ad offset address or effective address of that string we need to put into dx register so this is how we are printing this message and similarly new one also is printed using the same procedure so uh, till here we have just displayed the a uh, string which contains names of all the flags now just below this we will be printing uh, the values of all the uh, flags now we have here performed some flag, uh, some of the operations on the flags to uh, change the values of the flags so that in the in the output we can clarify these values so cli this command is used to clear the interrupt flag so this if interrupt flag will become zero after this command then stc is used to set the carry flag so this carry flag bit will be one after this command std set the direction flag so this df bit direction flag bit will be uh, one after this command so in the output we need to check these three commands so these three values now i need to print the content of the flag register now we cannot access the contents of the flag register directly so the procedure is we will push the flag register onto the stack first so for that the command is push f this will push the uh, flag register into the stack now the flag register is on the top of the stack so i will pop that data into bx register flag register is 16 bit data so i'm popping it into a 16 bit register so i'm popping it into the bx now this bx contains the flag values right now now uh, we declared a variable flag uh, 16 bit variable and it was not having any values initially so now we are moving this result into flag so now in this variable our uh, values are stored now to uh, display the values of the flag register now it has 16 bits so i need to display 16 values so uh, we have set the count as 16 now that uh, this we will be displaying every values but uh, we'll be writing the code for one value and we will put that code into the loops now uh, we as we already discussed that we have two methods for creating loops one is uh, the method which in which we use loop um, the method in which we use loop so this method we are going to use today for looping uh, so here for this method we give count in cx register only so here in cx register we are giving count as 16 because we have to print 16 bits of the flag register now uh, here uh now uh, in the flag register will be uh, we will be now the values in the flag registers are uh, zeros or ones so and we will be printing only one value at a time so uh, uh, if i see 8000 and if i convert that it if i convert 8000 into binary it becomes uh, 1000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000
now uh, okay now we need to display the uh, values of the flag register now consider that this uh, is our flag, flag register 16 bit register so some 16 bits are there so we'll be printing values one by one so first we need to print this first value so uh, what uh, now what i want is that only this first bit should remain as it is and all the other bits should become zero. So for that we can add this entire value, all, all the other bits end with zero and only first bit I will end with one. Only first bit I will end with one and all the other bits will end with zero. So then this number becomes 8000. So if I end the entire flag register with 8000, then only this first bit of the flag register will remain as it is because it is ending with 1. If this bit is 0, then 0 ended with 1 will become 0. So, again result is 0. So, this bit was also 0 and result is also 0. If this bit is 1, 1 end with 1 will become 1. So, whatever is the value of this bit, here you will get the same value and all the other bits will become 0. Now, this bit. Now, this bit Now, this bit can be either it can be 0 or 1. If this bit is 0, then the entire result is 0. If this bit is 1, then the result is non-zero. So, if the result is 0, we can check the check uh, after performing this end operation, we can check uh, 0 flag. If the, zero, uh, if the result is 0, if 0 flag is 1, means all the values are 0, means the, the value of that particular bit is also 0, so we can, dis we can print 0. If the values is values are non-zero, we can print one for that particular bit. So now next, th this is how we have printed one bit. Now to print the next bit, I need to print I need to print uh, this bit now, uh, this particular bit of the flag. So at this position we should have one, and all the other positions should be zero. In the uh, all these other positions should be zero. So uh, how to get that? We will rotate this number. Uh, rotate right uh, this number by 1. So then this 1 will come here. Then for the next bit, this 1 should come here. For the next bit, this 1 should come here. For the next bit, this 1 should come here. So we will perform rotate right this particular value by 1. So this 1 will uh, keep on moving and we have set count uh, cx equals to 16. So this entire operations we will perform for 16 times and this is how we will print 16 values. Now let's see the same into the code. So here uh, CX we have taken 16 and uh, this 8000 we have stored into a uh, register BX. Why we have taken 8000? Just now I have explained. Now we are starting looping. Now uh, we have two methods for looping. Here in this experiment we are using this method for loop where you don't need to decrement the count uh, by yourself. This method itself will decrement the count value and it will uh, for count it will consider CX register. Now uh, <clears throat> the flag this variable contains the uh, final uh, result right. So this I am moving into a register AX and then I will perform AND operation of the result with BX. BX is 8000. So that then we have to check the result. Uh, so if jump if 0, jump if 0 means if, uh, uh, the, if the 0 flag will be 1, then we have to go to a label called 0. Now 0 cast I value is 30. So uh, now to print that we have to print 0. So we have so DL register should have ASCII value of 0 and ASCII value of 0 is 30H. So move 30H into DL register and then for printing we need to put AH equals to 0 to. Okay. Then if, if it's not 0, uh, if the result is non-zero, it will not go to this label. It will come to the next line here. So if the result is non-zero means it is uh, means the value is 1 at that particular bit. So one ka ASCII value is uh, 31H. So we will move 31H into DL register and to print that AH should have 0 to H and uh, INT 21H will print that. After that we are moving to a label space. So this label is uh, just printing the space into the answer so that uh, here in the string also we have given uh, like 
uh, we have written one of the flag and then we have given a space and then we have written the next value so uh, here o, uh, of flag ka value will come then there will be a space and then the next value will come so to print the space uh, move space uh, into dl register and then print it here we have printed a space uh, again we are printing one more space so two spaces we will give so now here again when we are printing the space again we don't need to give uh, we don't need to move we don't need to perform this operation again because dl already contains space now uh, after giving the space uh, we need uh, now we have printed one variable now we need to print the next variable uh, sorry the next flag we printed one flag bit we need to print the next bit for that we need to perform rotate right bx was this 8000 so we need to rotate it by one so that that one uh, will come to the next position Uh, to the position which we want to print in the flag register so that particular position uh, will be ended with one and all the other bits will be ended with zero as we discussed right now and then uh, after that again come to loops label so here again we are uh, uh, performing the same operation we are ending the flag value uh, flag with the bx now bx contains the updated value now bx contains uh, this result uh, so this one is at the second position now and all the other bits are zero so it will be ended with the flag will be ended with this particular string so only the second only the second value uh, will be as it is whatever was the value if the value was zero it will remain zero if the value is one it will remain one and all the other bits will be zero and then if the result is all zeros then this value will is surely zero if the result is non zero then this value is one so we will print that accordingly now how to run the program for that open dos box save the program uh, we have saved the file as uh, exp3.asm so first we need to go to that tasm folder cd tasm then uh, to run it tasm space file name exp3.asm so if there are errors you will get the error messages here uh, and on this line number what is the error that you will get here uh, if there there are no errors right now in this program and uh, next we need to link it so t link space file name exp3 then uh, to run it now if you want to see the debugger then we type td space file name but for now we are uh, we want to we want the output on the terminal so i'll write the experiment name directly exp3 press enter so you can see the output here uh, this is a string which we have printed so this is the string which we have printed which contains the names of the flags now here you see cli we have given a command cli which says clear the uh, interrupt flag so if should be zero so in our results you can see if is zero and stc is set the carry flag so carry flag is one uh, std set the direction flag so direction flag is one so uh, this is how we print the contents of the flag register you can exit it by typing exit 